Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is our Memorial Day edition. I have my red, white, and blue on to recognize all of our uh, service members' service and those who have passed in the service of this nation. Our next guest is Bianca Vallejo from Green Valley Smiles Dentistry. Bianca is also relatively new to the Las Vegas area. She comes from back east and went to school in Boston, like me, the best place to go to college. Don't, don't let my UNLV professors know that I said that though. And her goal is to build relationships with her patients and make sure they leave the office feeling like family. And she also puts out a great series of videos called the Oral Health Minute out on Instagram. So we're going to tell you how to find that, but check that out. You do those once a week? Yes, I've been trying to release them once a week. Once a week, Oral Health Minutes, a lot of fun, a lot of great energy, and it really makes dentistry uh, less painful and a lot more exciting than I've seen it portrayed in the past. Well, thank you. <laughs> so. Thank you for being here. Tell us how you got started as a dentist. So I've always wanted to be a dentist since I was a kid. Um, my family dentist growing up was actually a close family friend I regarded as an aunt. Mm -hmm. And so going to the dentist was a big ordeal. Uh, we'd had to drive an hour just to get to her practice. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we'd make the whole family go at the same time. And so after I was done with my checkup, I'd be assisting the dentist while she did my mom and my sister and my dad. I bet your sister was thrilled about <laughs> that. Yes, I was poking her with a suction. <laughs> and. Uh, I just was so impressed that she was a female business owner, you know, well respected in her community okay. and it really inspired me to want to go into dentistry okay. since is, I was in high school. And is she still a mentor of yours? Yes. Is, okay, yes. great. Yeah, it's important to have mentors um, and people who come, you know, people who come when we're young and inspire us are great to keep yeah. as mentors. Yeah, it, it's just cool. I remember when I graduated, she sent me a really sweet gift and she's like, I'm so proud of you because I, I feel like we've been doing it so, since we She sent you one of those together. scraper things that we all love <laughs> so much? It was a little like um, plaque. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my experience with dentists comes from my time in the Air Force, and I will say that the care was excellent from the dentist I, I had in the Air Force. But you feel like a little bit that like you're on the assembly line because you, in the military you very rarely ever see the same doctor twice in a row just because of the nature of we're all moving around all the time and deploying and that kind of thing. What's your approach? You said it's really important to make sure your patients feel like family. Tell me about your approach to making your patients feel like family. Absolutely. I mean, one of my main goals is making um, each patient feel like their individual needs matter. I want to cater them to personalized dental mm -hmm. care. And so right away, when my patients come into the practice, I greet them from the waiting room and I bring them back into my office. And we do a one-on-one, -on -one, just like this. Mm -hmm. And I ask them, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your story? What brings you in? And you know, any hesitations, fears, anything like that. And patients love it because then they're finally feeling like their needs are being heard. Um, and then it really helps me and make my dentistry that much better because then I can cater a treatment plan towards what they want, what they said is important to them and taking into consideration some of, you know, um, the hesitations and fears that may be getting in the way. That's incredible because I've never had that, uh, whether it was in the military or since I've been out of the military in, pri in, in private dental practice, I've never had the doctor actually come and speak spend the time and sit down with me and say, you know, the, kind of the way I would equate it, the way I sit down with my clients is let's talk about your goals, right? Well, it's a little bit different when you're, but you're talking about, let's talk about your dental health. What, what, what are you concerned about? What are you, what questions you have? I think that's great. Yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, patients always get so taken aback. They're like, oh, the dentist, I've never had them introduce me like this before. And I want to just make sure that, you know, patients are used to the old way of dentistry. I'm trying to show them mm -hmm. a new way of dentistry. That's awesome. That's great. So you are a big technology nerd. Anyone who has watched Dent Oral Health Minute, which you probably haven't yet because you probably just heard about it, but when you go watch Oral Health Minute, she's always got the latest technology. Tell us how you're incorporating that latest technology. What are you looking for and how are you incorporating that practice to help your patients? Well, we're so lucky to be living and practicing dentistry in this day and age because the technology has super, you know, advanced so much. Mm -hmm. This is not your mother's dental practice, you know? And the technology is there so that we can make dental care easier, more efficient, um, more comfortable for patients you know for example like one of my favorite technologies that we have in my practice is the CAD cam we can make crowns and bridges and mm -hmm. veneers in the office in under two hours okay and you know the old I don't know if you've ever had any crowns before mm -hmm. okay lucky you mm -hmm. <laughs> the old way of doing that is you have to take an old goopy impression send it to the lab you're gonna mm -hmm. be in a temporary come back with the model hope it fits mm -hmm. and here, we do it all in, like I said, in office. It's custom fit for you, and patients can walk out of the office with a permanent restoration, and they don't have to come back, because let's face it, patients don't really want to be there in the no, first I place. No, I, so. I want to go in, I want to I get it done, 
And if I do have to come back, I want to come back once, right? Exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, and I really don't want to come back at all. It's if you, if you can get me in there, and like, say, look, let's yeah. just get this done and send you on your way. I'm, I'm more about that. Now, is it like a 3D printing kind of thing? Yes. Yes. So it's that's a 3D cool. milling unit. It's very cool. So, all right. So, trade shows. Are you going to any of those this year? What, what, what's the, what's the thing you're looking for? What's the, what's a, what's your wish list item you want to get for your office? Um, honestly, everything is there right now. I. I, I, could, I wouldn't change I don't believe you. No, I don't believe I do. you. Uh, maybe an updated, like there's a newer um, milling unit for okay. the crowns, and there's um, they can make uh, zirconia crowns, which is one of the strongest crowns on the market. Mm -hmm. So I would like to upgrade maybe, but okay. other than that, I already have it. <laughs> All right. Oral Health Minute is such a cool way, such a fun way of tackling some of these things, some of these dental health things that a lot of people don't really want to talk about and find it hard to talk to their dentist about. How did you come up with this idea? and, and Tell us what you've learned doing Oral Health Minute. For sure. Well, I've always, my approach with patients is, you know, I try not to speak too much science and jargon to them, right? If I'm trying to explain gingivitis, they mm -hmm. don't want to hear about all the bacteria. Mm -hmm. So I've found a way to make it relatable so that they can understand and recognize the value and importance of, you know, what the treatment I'm recommending. Okay. And so from there, I... It was a natural transition for me to like, I wanted to reach more than just my patients. So I created mm -hmm. a one minute video series. And my whole goal is just to make oral health education fun, relatable, and it's so quick that you don't even realize you learned something. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think it is fun and relatable. Um, and you have such great energy in, in the oral health minute. It really is. It, you can tell it comes from a place of I'm looking to help the community. With, whether you come into my office or not, I want you to know, I want the community to know this about oral health. And it's such a, such a fun and, and, and most importantly in, in today's low attention span society yeah. short yes uh, burst of knowledge about oral health i love it so much thank you um so where are you looking to take your practice in the future what's your strategy to get there sure so one of my biggest goals is i want to become the provider of choice in this las vegas area okay you know when patients are having dental needs and concerns i want them to think about me and my practice and so um that starts with proper um excellent patient care clinical okay. excellence, and um, I'm actually onboarding a new doctor this summer, so just okay. making sure that every team member that I bring in is on board with my vision, which okay. is you know providing excellent patient care one patient at a time. So, so you heard it here first, breaking news, she's onboarding a new doctor this summer, which means she's going to have a bunch of room for new patients this summer. So when, so when, when do you want to see new people coming into your office? Actually, I can see new patients every day. So, every day. Uh, yeah, one of the, I think, actually, I had a couple of walk-ins this afternoon because they couldn't get into their dental mm -hmm. practice because it's a holiday weekend, and so that's why I got a little. I was so a little late today. A I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, but. You know, we'll let it slide. <laughs> uh, I always make sure that I have emergency slots or walk-in slots available because we get okay. it, you know, things pop up. Okay, so tell us where your office is at. Tell us how people can reach you and tell us who you're looking to connect with. Who are the who are your ideal patients? Sure. So there is no ideal patient. Like everyone is my ideal patient. I'm just looking to get connected with the community. Okay. Um, and so you can find me. I'm Dr. Bianca Vallejo at Green Valley Smiles Dentistry, which mm -hmm. we're in Henderson. And um, to watch my oral health minute videos, I'm primarily on Instagram. So mm -hmm. at Dr. Bianca Vallejo. Um, so yeah, look forward to all the followers and your feedback. Okay. Who is who is a strategic partner in the valley you'd love to have? Um, I that's a difficult one. Like I said, I really I think it's just okay. more. Um, I just want to get. Uh, I want just to spread the awareness that we're here okay. serving everyone's dental needs and cool. um, yeah. Just yeah. Well, we'll we'll work on that one offline. <laughs> And uh, we have from Sheena Sharma, awesome Dr. Bianca Vallejo. You are amazing. Well, thank you, Sheena. So I do have, I do. So we'll work on that. You and I will work on that. We'll figure out who your strategic partner is okay. going to be, and we'll have you back to tell us who your strategic partners okay, are, so absolutely. we can get that message out. I do have, I do have one more question for you before you go. Okay. So what are the little little toys you give to the kids in the office? Do you have a good selection of toys? What mm, have you got? For I them? have balloons. Balloons, patients love it. Okay. I have stickers, pencils. I have a little treasure chest. Um, mm -hmm. The yeah. treasure chest is important. I know when I was a kid, that was the yeah. that was the incentive, right? Or Get the goodie there. bag toothbrush kit. That's that's most patients. Because that's because that's what kids <laughs> that's what kids love is to be reminded they're brushing their teeth, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was great. Tell us one more time. Uh, did you give out your office phone number, or how, how can someone make an appointment with you if they were if they were so impressed with you today, they're ready to see you next Tuesday because you're taking Monday off, right? I am off on Monday. We have an so. emergency line if you need me. So uh, my office phone number is seven zero two seven five seven three three nine nine Green. 
GreenValleySmilesDentistry.com. Also, my personal website is ValeoDental.com, where you can also watch um, my Oral Health Minute videos there Yes, as well. go, go watch Oral Health Minute. Sit right here. We're going to bring back the other two guests, Dana and Shamar. We're going to do our panel discussion. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. We'll be right back with the panel in just a few minutes.